Welcome to Screw the Commute, the entrepreneurial podcast dedicated to getting you out of the car and into the money with your host, lifelong entrepreneur and multimillionaire, Tom Antion. Hey, everybody, it's Tom here with episode 228 of Screw the Commute podcast. We're here with our first time ever, a third time guest, my good buddy, Alan Baris is uh, here with us, and uh, this guy has a passion to teach practical street application of self-defense stuff. I mean, he's been doing it most of his uh, uh, his life, 35 years of martial arts experience and uh, in the Korean art of Hapkido, and he holds a fifth-degree black belt, and uh, oh, I'm going to tell you a lot more about him, and uh, and one of the reasons I'm, I'm really happy to have him on in the new year is because there's been just so many of these incidents with active shooters and active machetes and active idiots causing all kinds of havoc, you know, it's time to get your head out of the sand and protect yourself, kind of like that church in Texas. They planned ahead, and they, uh, of course, they couldn't uh, solve all the problems they had there when uh, two people did get killed, but it could have been 20. It could have been who knows how many. So uh, he talks about all of those kinds of things, active shooter things, what you can do to defend yourself. So we'll bring him on in a minute. Now, I hope you didn't miss, or if you did, go back and listen to, later to episode 227. It's a, totally different from what we're used to around here. But we did a heartfelt talk with uh, Roberto Candelaria. He was the sponsorship expert who lost his father after a long bout of Parkinson's disease. And because of his lifestyle business, which we're all about on this podcast, he was able to help his mother and father all the time through when the sickness progressed and keep his bills paid while going through an eight-month depression after his father passed. And uh, so this is quite a bit different than our standard fare of rah-rah, let's sell stuff. But hope you make sure you listen to it and decide if you're going to take steps now to to prepare for when life gets in the way. And we're in a new year here, so a uh, perfect time to do it. All right, so make sure you grab a copy of our freebie, the uh, How to Automate Your Business ebook. It's at screwthecommute.com slash automate free. And it's all the tips and tricks I use to handle up to 150,000 subscribers and 40,000 customers without pulling my hair out. Now, our podcast app is also in the App Store. You can do lots of cool stuff right from your cell phone or tablet, and you can grab a copy of that. And plus, we have complete instructions on how to use it with screen captures and this and that at screwthecommute.com slash app. That's A-P-P, screwthecommute.com slash A-P-P. All right, our sponsor is the Internet Marketing Training Center of Virginia, a distance learning school which teaches legitimate techniques to make a great living either working for someone else or starting your own online business, or both. So you can check that out at imtcva.org. And of course, as always, all the stuff that we talk about and all the links will be in our show notes. This is episode 228. So if, when you want to find a specific episode, you go to screwthecommute.com and then slash, in this case, 228. Now, we also have a really cool thing. You know, we're uh, we're really upset about the things that's going on in colleges nowadays, how they're ripping people off. And and that might sound a little brash, but if you go to imtcva.org slash quiz, we have a brand new quiz to see if you know all the ways colleges are ripping off students and parents. So check that out at imtcva.org slash quiz, because I don't want you or your family getting robbed uh, when you're shooting for higher education for either you or your children, nephews, nieces, grandchildren, whoever. All right, check that out. All right, let's get to the main event. Alan Baris is an active shooter response instructor. He served in the U.S. Army with the 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and with the 2nd Infantry Division as a sniper and sniper instructor in South Korea. He's currently the Director of Active Defense Training for Reflex Protect. We'll talk more about that later. He's trained more than 6,000 individuals, including teachers, school administrators, doctors, nurses, and staff, on basic and effective strategies of surviving active threats. And 
he does not want people to be scared or paranoid, so he teaches you how to enjoy life safely. And I'll throw this in again, like I did on the previous episodes. He's one of the few people in the world I would trust my life to. So, Alan, are you ready to screw for the new year? <laughs> all right. The commute, that is. All right. That's right. Yeah. So, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing wonderful. How about yourself? Oh, I'm just peachy. Looking forward to a great 2020 and uh, looking forward to staying safe like we always do. So uh, tell everybody that's a new listener uh, what you've been doing for the past year uh, uh, and past 35 years, but specifically in the past year or so to help keep people safe. You know, in the past year, and it was just about a year ago, it was January of last year, that I teamed up with a company that I had met, you know, six months prior to that. And I liked what they were doing. Uh, Joe Anderson, the CEO, liked what I was doing, you know, teaching people how to, what they can do in active shooter situations. And, you know, I wrote the book, Survive a Shooting, mm -hmm. which, you know, I gave to Joe and he's like, dang, you know, you, you know, this topic. And, you know, last Christmas we started talking and in January we decided to work together. And so, I'm teaching the survive a shooting programs through reflex protect and I'm teaching reflex protect training, which is a defensive spray, which, you know, you could go online, buy one and it's easy to figure out. However, with institutions, schools, hospitals, uh, government organizations, they need to have it in the policy. So they have to have policy language, which we help them with and they need the training component. That way, it's all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. So we go in and we train those individuals how to use the product effectively and when and when not to use it. So those organizations, their insurance companies are really happy with us and happy. And, and it's one of the things that we really are proud of is insurance companies like us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what? That's the, that's the downside of all of this stuff. I mean, I was just telling you before we started recording about I got a call for our protection dog company that this um, a guy was uh, doing a home invasion and the, the family dog that was only 10 months old Rottweiler tore the guy to pieces, 300 stitches the guy had to have. And we're just waiting to hear about all the lawsuits that the criminal that was trying to rape and murder the wife uh, is going to file against the guy because the dog tore him up. You know, so unfortunately, we have to deal with these kinds of things uh, just to protect ourselves when the bad guys don't care. And, and one of my instructors came from France. He said, ah, nobody sues in France. He says, they, he says they, they teach the dogs, bite them anywhere, bite their face off, and nobody gets sued. But here in the U.S., it's, uh, it's a little bit different. And then one other comment I wanted to make about your book. Yeah, there was a famous uh, TV commercial and catchphrase from Jeep. It was Jeep. We wrote the book on four-wheel drive. Well, I got a new one. Alan Baris, he wrote the book on active shooters. <laughs> because that, is the, that book is the best, most thorough th uh, thing ever created in this particular field and needed more than ever right now. Tell them a little bit about the book. You know, it's the book that I wanted years ago when I first got into you know, what do we do to help people with these active shooter situations? You know, what strategies can we provide to help keep people alive? And there wasn't a good book. Mm -hmm. So I took the teaching I was doing, you know, I became certified with Safari Land and was teaching with a team of those trainers, got a lot of experience and, and knowledge from the, the officers and others I was teaching with, read everything I could read on the topic, researched, went to different courses. And then put together the book that I wish would have been available when right. I started. Because it has it, you know, some people, you know, they sing about big butts. I like big books. <laughs> big, big book, yes. book. <laughs> Yeah, but it's understandable, you know, by an average person. That's the good thing. Yeah, it's you know, it's 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 like a textbook that you know has everything you can want. And you can go to the chapters that you need. Um, you know, it's not a book you have to read cover to cover. You know, I, I recommend it the first time, but then it's just, it's a great reference for when you need certain things to go to that chapter and, and tighten up your defenses or work on, you know, the things that you need to do to be better prepared. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell them about the Reflex Protect because, uh, you know, everybody's heard of pepper spray and the old days mace. Tell them about this product and why you got behind this, uh, got on this bandwagon. The reason I jumped on the bandwagon for Reflex Protect, it was the missing piece. Myself and just about anybody else out there teaching active shooter response to teachers, nurses, people that aren't allowed to use a firearm, we were teaching improvised weapons. Well, why improvise if you can have a tool for the job? And, you know, we were asked about pepper spray all the time, but you don't want to spray pepper spray in a school. That's going to affect all the kids and everything. Same with a hospital. Reflex Protect created a brand new CS-based gel called Presidia Gel. And CS, can, CS stands for? It's a big, long word. Yeah, it's, yeah, the, yeah, it's, it's, the same in, it's the same stuff that's in tear gas. Right. Right. So it's been used in tear gas and for the military and law enforcement for, a, for decades. But we have a special formulated gel um, comes out of a company out, out of New Jersey, a DOD approved company that creates this gel, Presidia gel specifically for reflex protect with a CS base. So it doesn't cross contaminate. I could put my arm around your shoulders. You could get sprayed in the face you'd be in a lot of pain, I'd be fine. Mm, okay, yeah. And actually, we're finding every law enforcement officer that has tested it, who is comparing it to the pepper spray that they have to do in the academy, has said it works faster. Yeah, and, and uh, some people have told me, uh, some of my cop friends have told me that like some people don't react at all to pepper spray. Uh, you know, so is there, is there anybody... Any testing on reflex on what percentage of people it might not affect at all? I don't know the percentage, but I do know that in the military, when you go through the CS gas chamber, like all of us mm -hmm. had to do, there are some people that aren't affected as much with that. So I wouldn't say that Presidia gel will affect everyone the same 100%. I don't think we can say that about anything. Um, but I do believe it is superior to pepper spray that it works quicker and it doesn't cross contaminate. Yeah, that's a, that's a big thing because I can imagine because I mean, even we're getting calls for protection dogs in, in emergency rooms, you know, because people just get crazy in those places. And can you imagine spraying pepper spray in an emergency room? Oh my God. Yeah. They couldn't do it, yeah. but, but the Reflex Protect, they can. And actually, the, the actual uses of the product so far have been in hospital settings, and it has kept nurses from getting hurt. Mm -hmm. Both it's been sprayed, and it's just been brandished by a couple nurses that controlled and stopped the person. Wow, that's, uh, that's powerful stuff. Is it available? I mean, can somebody go on Amazon and buy this, or what? Uh, is this con uh, controlled or what? No, we do have a 2.5 ounce version available on Amazon. And it's also available at reflexprotect.com. Most of the institutions, schools, hospitals and stuff are using a five ounce. Mm -hmm. and those you can only buy through us directly right now. Does it work on animals? We haven't tested on animals. I mean, we don't want to do that. But we have had one lady tell us that, she sprayed a dog that came after her and it worked. Yeah, because Kay uh, uh, was walking our little tiny, tiny mini and uh, some lady let a, uh, a pit bull out that was not happy, scared the hell, hell out of her. And I said, well, you know, you got to do something to pre prepare if you're going to walk along a road like that with the dog. Sometimes the pepper sprays are better for the animals, especially we tell people for bears, because for you want that big mist. Mm -hmm. um, because with our product, you know, it is it shoots out like wasp spray in a direct stream. Yeah, which, you know, shooting a person in the face and getting their eyes, but I wouldn't want to be trying to shoot it directly into that bear's eye if he's charging. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and uh, it's just this darn thing outside with. With the all the other stuff is that depends on the wind, you know, it because does. you could shoot yourself easily if you're not, you know, if you're all whacked out and afraid and you spray it in the wrong direction, you're going to incapacitate yourself and, and, the, uh, and the, the bad guy or dog is going to be laughing at it. 
Well, we, w- we will have a bear spray hopefully a year from now. We're going through the EPA stuff and we're teaming up with another company um, to co-do a bear spray and get that out in the market. Yeah, can you imagine? I was reading about that yesterday, but the EPA has to worry about bear spray. Like, you know, how many... <laughs> You know, how much damage is that going to do to the environment to shoot a bear as opposed to having a big funeral for three or four hikers that just got mauled? You know, it is, it's, you can shoot a person tomorrow. Yes. But we have to, we, we, but we can't enter the bear spray markets until we get all through the government regulations. <laughs> oh, that's business for you. That's government for you. Tell them about the active shooter uh, training you're doing. So, so I imagine that uh, reflex is part of it, but it's not the only part. No, it's, you know, the, the course that I started teaching even before reflex protect was born um, is a big part of that course. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're teaching people, you know, strategies on how to harden their targets in the first place, um, how to recognize signs. I mean, if we can, st- if we can recognize signs and get these people help before something happens, that's the ideal. Mm-hmm. Remember a couple of years ago, the guy found his daughter's diary and she was going to be the first female killer, which she wouldn't have been. And she was going to outdo certain other killers. And mm. he turned her in, got her the help that she needed. And there's a lot of cases where people have reported and got the either law enforcement or mental health professionals or whoever was needed to help these people before something happens. So we cover stuff like that in the course too. Mm-hmm. We cover things on how to deal with the stress and the fear that goes on. And then we, you know, cover some medical stuff. And I always encourage people to get more medical training. We cover what to do when law enforcement shows up so you don't become a victim. And that includes if you have your own firearm or if you take the bad guy's firearm, you don't want to be waving it around. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Yeah. And then we cover, you know, my triangle, which is ways to escape the situation, ways to deny the killer access to kill you, which could be getting behind cover. It could be barricading in a room. And we deal with ways on attacking back and stopping the killer, whether it's tackling them at a doorway, using a fire extinguisher, or if you have reflex protect, ambushing him and spraying him with reflex protect. Mm-hmm. I, I do want to point out because I had a guy ask me the other day, he said, I just don't think you'd be wanting to take a spray to a gunfight. And I don't see somebody going down the hall after these killers. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. we don't teach. Yeah. Reflex protect is an alternative to throwing the stapler at them. If you get <laughs> through your barricade, right. it's not that we're going to be turn people into police officers with reflex protect that they're going to go hunt down a killer. Right. No. Right, right, this right. gives you something so you don't have to improvise. You can have an easy-to-use tool as a last-ditch last, last ditch way to keep you and your others safe. All right, so let's talk about the business of this. So ever since I've known you, you have made a living using the skills that you have. So you did security, big security for big arena events, and and you did active shooter you spoke, I mean, you are an attorney, but I don't think you've done any legal work since I've known you. I, I don't really can't it's remember. Been, when we first met only through internet, I might have still been being a lawyer. But yeah. since I've been heading to your house and we've gotten together in your place, California and stuff, I haven't been practicing. Yeah. And, uh, and then you've created a, a line of products for people that could never, you know, have an active shooter training from you. Uh, you wrote a novel you hooked up with uh, Reflex Protect people, and uh, now I understand you're, the Reflex Protect that you were hooking up with Safari Land again. So, so all of these things have kept you and a beautiful family going for all these years, right, without the dreaded J-O-B. They have, although, you know, it's sort of a J-O-B now. And, and the nice thing is, you know, when we say we're going to screw the commute, <laughs> um, fortunately and unfortunately for the, the – the title is I'm commuting a lot now, but it's, you know, because I'm traveling so much to teach people and which I, I enjoy. Well, I, mean, I don't call that a commute. A commute yeah. is the drudgery, you know, same route every day, sitting in the same traffic, making somebody else rich. <laughs> this is, you're getting on airplanes. You're the big shot. Every place you go, you're on radio and TV all over the, the country. Uh, and that's, that's another part of the business that uh, we kind of worked on was uh, you still on the Google alerts. 
I am, but I haven't been keeping up with them like I need to. And I, I was just talking with Joe Anderson, you know, the Reflex Protect mm -hmm. CEO the other day of, um, I'm going to really actively start doing the radio thing again, like you and I, you know, talked about years ago and, you know, I've been on the radio 80, 90 some right, time, right. um, all over the country. And I'm going to start actively getting back on the radio, um, both with the active shooter and reflex protect, you know, they go hand in hand mm -hmm. um, and anything else to do with safety and such. And so I'm going to start doing that more. Yeah. Well, let me explain to everybody what we're talking about. So I got uh, Alan signed up for Google alerts for any keywords that had to do with active shooters. And so he would get a immediate notice when anything with that would show up in the news. And then you call up the radio and TV stations in that area. This is basically called newsjacking is a kind of an, a word for it. And then offer yourself as an expert on that topic. So that's how we did 80 or 90 uh, radio things. And the nice thing about radio is you can have a bad hair day and you can do it from anywhere. You don't have to show up at a TV station where you kill yourself to get there and then you get bumped if some if our embassy gets attacked in Iraq. <laughs> you know, so... So that's the basic idea here. And, uh, and that, as like I said, that, that'll, again, if you revamp that, that'll be great for uh, your uh, reflex protect thing. Yeah. I mean, and it, like you said, if you can do it literally from anywhere, mm -hmm. I was in South Korea for the Olympics, you know, two years ago when in that February, the Parkland shooting happened. And I actually got a phone call from the United <laughs> States while I was in Korea to be on a radio show. Uh, so I've gotten to the point now where sometimes they call me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, have to call them. Yeah. When you do a good job podcast, I mean, uh, another thing I would suggest is to just start doing a podcast tour. They actually have a longer life than the, uh, than the radio. The radio is all concentrated because some event happened in that city, but podcasts, the people will listen to them for years and can, can get in touch so besides radio i would do podcasts too there's bound to be a bunch of maybe maybe reflex protect will start one who knows <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, but but all of these different revenue streams uh, this is kind of what they call mul multiple streams of revenue because you know like i said you got income from product sales you got income from your deal with reflex you got active shooter things. And by the way, anybody that's in a company or organization, Alan is the man. He's the bomb. If you suggest that uh, your company bring somebody in, uh, so what uh, What length uh, are, the, are these things? I know when we did the brutal self-defense class together, we just did a portion of the whole your whole thing. But so how, if a company wants to have you do this for them, what's entailed? You know, it can be customized, so it depends. The most common training that I'm doing right now fits in a six to six and a half hour block. Mm -hmm. So it's often from 10 to four or 10 to 4.30. Mm -hmm. And we'll put a half hour and some places need to use an hour, you know, especially if it's a union and they have to give people an hour lunch. Right, right. I've done, I've done hour lunches. I've done half hour lunches in that six to six and a half hour period. And that entails PowerPoint lecture. It entails hands-on stuff. And that includes going outside and spraying uh, reflex protect the inert mm -hmm. practicing with that. But then I customize things. You know, I do a lot of one hour and two hour just presentations for groups when they bring me in. You know, that's what I was doing in California a couple months ago. That's what I did in Wyoming last month. You know, I'll just go in and do like a keynote type presentation or a breakout session. Mm -hmm. And usually those have less hands on stuff when it's the short one. Well, in the full training, how many can you uh, do by yourself? Usually I will try to go 30 to 40, but I've had groups of 60. Mm -hmm. um, getting too much over 60, it gets difficult to give everybody the attention they right, need. Right, right, right. Hands-on stuff. Well, you know plenty of people to, if you needed to pull somebody in to help you, they're confident, if, if, yeah. And we can. And I, you know, I got a coworker with Reflex Protect, Ben Gladwin, that he and I do sometimes teach together. Um, often, though, we're we're off in different directions. He's teaching one place, I'm teaching somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But we do co teach sometimes together. Yeah, now you, we have a big group. Yeah, now you said a word here. I want to bring it to the forefront. Uh, uh, you have an inert 
uh, one. Tell people about, you know, if they do any of this stuff, they should also in the beginning for sure get, you know, practice. Yeah, so Reflex Protect has an inert training unit that has a soy oil mixture stuff in there. So it sprays similar to the real stuff. You can put it in your salad. You can spray your salad. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of pepper sprays have inert trainers Mm -hmm. too. Whatever you're going to carry, you should be practicing with it first. You don't ever want the first time you use any (laughs) weapon to be the real situation. You have wanted to practice with it first. Yeah, I can just, I'm just picturing that somebody's, oh, I don't know how to do this. They point it toward their own face to look at it and spray spray themselves in the face. (laughs) And the the larger Reflex Protect, it has a trigger like a a, a handgun or a Windex bottle. So it's really intuitive and easy. Next month, we're coming out with the smaller pocket size because people really wanted a smaller one. And it has the more traditional, like the pepper spray, you press mm-hmm. it with your thumb. But we'll have that one. But it has the Presidia gel that you can use inside without the cross-contamination and such. So, we, so we'll have that new product in February. Well, give some uh, people some tips about actually carrying and deploying these because I remember... Uh, hearing you talk about some lady said, well, you know, I got my pink pepper spray and it's in my purse. And, and then like, by the time she could get it out, you know, she'd have had, uh, you know, somebody would have raped her and killed her three times. Yeah. And that's with any defensive weapon, whether it's a firearm, pepper spray, a, a baton, if you don't have access to it when you need it, it will do you no good. If you, you know, if you think there could be a danger, have it in your hand. If you're a lady walking to your car at night and you don't trust the parking lot, don't have it in the bottom of your purse. Have it in your hand ready to go. Or go or go find somebody to walk out there with you. How about that? Yes, I mean, that's always <laughs> yeah. that's, yeah. you know, definitely a, yeah. a great tip. But you know, and when we have it, you know, we tell people when they're uh, mounting the larger reflex protect, you want it accessible. And so you don't want it all hidden away where it takes you ever to get it, but you want to be able to grab it. And if, for most teachers, so let's say schools, if something happens, most people are not right there in the vicinity. They can lock their doors, mm-hmm. lock down, and then they get their reflex protect, and it's just in case a bad person gets through that lockdown. Mm-hmm. It gives them that something, uh, some way to fight back um, rather than throwing their stapler. And so you want to have it when you think there might be that threat. Now, can you travel with this? I mean, will it, uh, can you put it in your l- luggage or uh, the uh, the small one that's coming out, the one point nine mm-hmm. and the two point five ounce? You can have one in your checked bag. Right, right. The five ounce cans you, are too big for your checked bag. But they're they're normally for institutions anyway, right? Right, and the two point five and the five ounce are actually the same size can. There's just different amounts in it, Mm -hmm. specifically so people could take that can on the plane. Or there are some states like California has a 2.5 ounce restriction. So we only can sell the 2.5 in certain situations. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know if if it's one one of them per checked bag or one total for your, for all of your luggage? That I'm not sure. I'd have to go back to the TSA and and read their instructions more. Yeah, I want one for each hand. I walk down the street <laughs> ready to go. You know? <laughs> so, so uh, well, uh, how do people get a hold of you if they want to uh, uh, check the Reflex Protect product out, but more more so that if they ne- need the training? You can look at, you can go to surviveashooting.com or reflexprotect.com. And you still have your, your newsletter too, right? I do, and that's at surviveanddefend.com. Okay, we'll have all these in the show notes, folks, but just say them one more time. Yep, surviveanddefend.com. Sign up for my weekly newsletter and check out that membership site. There's like 800 pages now of, of information to keep you safe on that site now. Beautiful. And if you're looking up Alan, you know, you would think he was a man, wouldn't you? Because he sounds kind of like a man, but uh, he's really a girl. So because, <laughs> <laughs> at least I thought he was for the first couple of years I knew him. Tell him about that. <laughs> well, I spell my name A L A I N, which is a French spelling, mm-hmm. 
And, you know, Tom, when we first met, it was just email for a while. Before, <laughs> and then that first phone call, you know, I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what happened? Uh, yeah. I had to, did I ever tell you about the opposite thing that had, I had happened to me when, uh, so, so, you know, in my, in my consumer advocate role of, uh, going after bad people, you know, scammers and stuff with scam brigade, I was experimenting with this online voice changing, you know, and the voice changers are usually physical products that you'd hold to your phone. It would change your voice to other, other things, but now they have them online. So I'm, um, experiment with it and then, you know, I kind of forget about it. And then I'm doing a, a first time Skype consultation with a new student. <laughs> and every time I say something, she's kind of giggles, you know, we're looking at each other and she's kind of giggling. And I thought something in her home was funny, something that I couldn't see. And it's kept going on. And finally I said, what are you laughing about? And, and she said, well, Mr. Antion, uh, you, you don't quite sound like you did when I first met you. <laughs> Because I had accidentally left on this voice changing thing. And every time I said something, I sounded like a girl. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, but anyway, it's, uh, it's spelled, uh, it's, go ahead and spell the whole, your whole name for him. It's Alan, A L A I N, Baris, B U R R E S E. All right, great. So, so again, it's funny, it's, it's funny Tom, I'm going to tell you, Wim DeMere. Great martial artist, has a podcast, books, DVDs, highly recommend him. We've been friends for years. He's from Belgium. Mm -hmm. And so he speaks French, one of the languages. Right. So we knew each other only through email at the beginning. And so he just knew Alain, which is the French spelling. Right. And so when a, a mutual friend, Mark McYoung, was over there doing some teaching in Belgium, Wim stopped him once and says, you keep talking about this Alan guy. Like I know him. Who are you talking about? <laughs> he, he's like, you know, Alan, the Hapkido sniper guy in Montana. He's like, Oh, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we finally met face to face, he told me that story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so anyway, uh, I want to, again, thank you for all the good you're doing. You're saving lives that you don't even know about. Uh, I'm, I, absolutely. There's no question in my mind. And, uh, and you're taking skills. And from the business standpoint, you're taking skills and doing good in the world and making a living for you and your beautiful family. So, so it's a perfect lifestyle business and really uh, uh, excited for the 2020 as it really expands for you. Well, I appreciate it, Tom. And I, you know, I appreciate all the help you've given me throughout the years on the business advice and things because you've given me a tremendous amount of, of knowledge and of your experience and knowledge in the business area, which has helped me. And so you know, I you know, treasure our well, friendship. So my, it's, it's really been an awesome friendship all these years. My pleasure, man. Uh, now you say you, you're going to end up at the uh, SHOT Show in, in Vegas? Yes, uh, I'll be at the SHOT Show here in a couple of weeks. It's in Vegas. I'll What's be, the dates on that? Do you remember? I want to say the 21st through the 24th. This is a big deal, folks. The SHOT Show is a big deal. Yearly event in Vegas. Yeah, it's it's huge. I think last year they had like 58,000 people. Yeah, wow. And so I'm going to be down there with some Safari Land folks and, and uh with some of the safari land trainers and things. Cause you know, we're working reflex protect and safari land are developing a relationship and seeing just where else we can go to help everybody. Cause we have the same goal to right. know, keep safe. That's for sure. All right, man. So uh, say hello to the wife and uh, your beautiful daughter for me, and we will uh, catch you on the next episode. Sounds great. Thank you much for having me on, and let's make 2020 awesome. Sounds good to me. Catch you later, everybody.